one is going to land in Darlington. In victory lane at Darlington Raceway with three very happy guys. Let's start with my guy Mike over here, your rear tire changer on the car. You just won the Southern 500. I tell you, it's uh, it's a great it's a great place to win. I mean, it's, it takes a complete team effort, so uh, it's pretty exciting to win this race. All right, Chris Lambert, the spotter. You got a bird's eye view, and man, did you have a lot to look at those closing laps. First, Denny overshoots the pit entrance, and then Martin Truex Jr. hits the wall. You guys take the lead, and you come out winners. What goes through your head, you know, through the closing laps of you know one of the sport's biggest races? Uh, through the last several laps, I was just actually trying to run down spotters of the guys we were catching to, to try and get us room, telling everybody we needed to top. Um, so I was running back and forth, trying to grab guys and, and trying to keep my eye on the racetrack at the same time. But uh, the biggest thing is when he missed pit road was telling him, yes, you missed it, so he could just grab a gear and keep going instead of trying to hang a left and hit pit road. And last but not least, Sean, it seems like late in the year, Joe Gibbs Racing kind of turns it on. We saw it in uh, 2015 after Kyle came back and, and won the title after a little bit of slow start to the season for the organization. Are we seeing the same kind of tide turning here tonight? We're certainly working hard. You know. Uh, we, we were behind the start of the year, and uh, Coach told us you got to dig deep. We've been digging deep, and uh, I'll tell you what, the sports clip, sports clips, JGR 11 car, uh, total team effort tonight. Proud of uh, proud of everyone involved, and excited to, to celebrate a little bit. All right, and let's grab Mike Wheeler over here, crew chief. Tell me about that call. Tell me about missing pit entrance. I mean, that was that was quite the end of a Southern 500. Yeah, I was hoping the math would work out. Uh, we were doing the live math, honestly, to think what would be the best strategy. Um, I knew two-stop strategy might actually work with the three-stint deal, but I didn't want to make ourselves vulnerable for a caution. So we stuck to the two-stopper, and uh, some guy short-pitted that, and I didn't think we can go the whole distance on tires that way. Uh, once we blew pit road, I, I thought we were in trouble, um, but I saw that when we came back out, the guys uh, that were leading were a little bit racing each other harder than they should have been as far as losing lap time, and I knew we had a chance. All right, well, we lost the rest of the crew for crew call, but the most important thing, they're taking home the Southern 500 trophy.